Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the German ME 410A1 sitting at 3.7 battle rating in realistic battle. Great heavy fighter, looks really sleek and um, well, <laughs> I have neglected this line for a long long time and it was about time that I made a review on one of them. I had several requests for them. So here we go, the maximum speed in this plane is 496 km an hour without web and 507 km an hour with web at sea level. At 4500 meters it is 454 km an hour without web and 469 km an hour with web. If you go up to 6500 meters the maximum speed in the plane without web is 422 km an hour and with web 440 kilometers an hour now this is not particularly fast for a plane at this battle rating but it is pretty decent for a heavy fighter there are not many heavy fighters that can match this speed at this battle rating so that's nice the top speed in a dive is also pretty nice it is 714 kilometers an hour before it red lines and 790 kilometers an hour before it rips apart now that sounds pretty amazing, right? Uh, almost 800 kilometers an hour before this plane rips apart. But it's not in all circumstances, of course. If you roll while you are at those speeds, you will definitely rip apart earlier. But also, the control stiffening in the plane already starts at 450 kilometers an hour. And it is already severe control stiffening at 550 kilometers an hour. So the effective top speed in a dive is actually 550 is 575 maybe kilometers an hour and after that it really becomes really hard to control the plane to get a shot on somebody and uh, you know above 600 kilometers an hour you run great risk to get your ass into the ground and uh, crash your plane so you have to be really really careful in a dive in this plane because the control stiffening is really severe Stall speed in the plane is 170 kilometers an hour, which is not really good. It is actually pretty bad. Firepower in the plane is great. Uh, you have two times 20 millimeter MG 151 cannons with 350 rounds per gun. Added to that to support it is two 7.96 millimeter MG 17 machine guns with a thousand rounds per gun. I used a 600 meter convergence in this match. Uh, and I used air targets for the 20 millimeters and stealth for the machine guns. The ammo loads are excellent on this plane and you can definitely fire away and spray and pray a little bit here and there if you need it because you do have the ammo load to support it. Acceleration in the plane in a straight line is decent and in a dive it's good. The energy retention in the plane in the horizontal is decent but in the vertical it's bad and here I come back to the stall speed the performance of the plane in the vertical especially if you start to um, make maneuvers and rolling and elevator and all that yes it's gonna be bad <coughs> and you're gonna lose a lot of energy and you gotta take that into account this is definitely not an energy fighter pure sun the climb rate in the plane also doesn't really support that. The plane has an air start which is excellent and the climb rate uh, is decent but uh, not spectacular at all. Turn time in the plane is decent and good with flaps I would say. Flaps only rip off at 550 km an hour which is basically the effective dive speed in the plane anyway. So you are not really gonna rip them off unless you go into a deep dive which is something you don't want to do in this plane anyway. Roll rate in the plane is average, it's, it's, a, it's a big plane, it's a heavy fighter, and, uh, but for a heavy fighter it's pretty decent, but if you compare it to most single seat, uh, single engine fighters, then you're gonna uh, be in the disadvantage. Overheating is real in the plane, but it is manageable, and it's easily cooled off, so I don't really consider that a problem in the plane. The plane is also pretty durable, it can take a hit or two and uh, won't fall apart immediately which is always a good thing what you do want to know though that this plane also becomes sluggish when it's slow especially in the roll rate 
below 300 kilometers an hour for sure so be aware of that that you the maneuverability that you have only has a small window between 300 kilometers an hour and 450 kilometers an hour when which is when the control stiffening starts to happen i'm not really sure of the style you can you should play in this plane uh, I tried a little bit of everything, I tried a little bit of energy fighting which is not really good at due to the uh, performance in the vertical. Uh, I tried a little bit of boom and zooming which is not really good at either because of the quick control stiffening, the early control stiffening at uh, 450 with the severe control stiffening at 550. Terrible for boom and zooming. You can make short boom and zoom runs as the acceleration in the dive is good. But um, this it, it is not a plane that is uh, written into the role of boom and zoomer and it also is not an, a, a turn fighter although the plane is pretty maneuverable for a heavy fighter it doesn't hold any advantage over uh, the uh, single engine fighters so this plane is not really a specialist in anything and it doesn't do any of the role particularly well either yeah you could say that the, the turning and stuff in its ideal speed speed range is the best especially with flaps and i've seen expert 410 pilots make you know fantastic moves and surprise people and i've seen a lot of shenanigans happen with these planes but it is in a very small window and you really have to be a specialist if you want to use this plane to its utmost um, so in the short run i cannot tell you what the ideal flight style of this plane is it doesn't do any of the roles particularly excellently but um, I'm sure that a specialist in an ME 410 would tell you that it is excellent in this speed range doing this and that and um, I don't have the time to invest in this plane to get uh, to get an idea of that not with most planes this is a very special plane in that sense I don't have that very often I get a, a good sense of the roles uh, pretty early in most planes but uh, not in this one it's, uh, it's quite a special snowflake, I have to say. And uh, But I did have fun in it, although uh, it is definitely not my best performing plane in War Thunder. Oh yeah, be aware of the gun jamming, that happens pretty, uh, pretty early. Although uh, I did not have the second unlock yet, so... In this match. Let's check the rewards. We have 27,000 silver lines and almost 2,000 research points. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now it's definitely an interesting plane. Like I said, it's a really special snowflake with um, a really specific flight style that I haven't quite figured out yet. Uh, I've seen some pilot do, uh, pilots do really well in it, but uh, I myself, I've done decently in it. I ha didn't have any spectacular matches. I did have a positive kill-death ratio, but I didn't do particularly well in this plane. Um, for, for my uh, standards, let's say. But um, I guess if you specialize in this plane, then you, you could do pretty well in it. But um, don't have the time for that. I did like the plane, I do like the firepower and the ammo load and the maneuverability in a specific speed range, but the plane is very specific, not exactly made for my favorite flight style, although, you know, a good pilot needs to be able to adjust, and with this plane you definitely need to adjust to the plane and use it exactly where it is good, and uh, if you want to take the time and learn that, uh, I would say go for this, for this line, because that should be fun there's a lot of these so you can unlock them and you can jump into the next one and, and try that one out but uh, for me uh, it's just a plane to visit now and then and uh, have a little bit of shenanigans in it and then uh, leave it alone again for a good while and that's exactly what will happen you won't see another review on this plane very quickly but maybe i'll look at some other model in the future guys i hope you enjoyed the review i want to thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye bye if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment, and if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.